YouTube. I uh, wanted to do a quick tool review for you. Uh, sorry for not posting anything for a while. I've been really busy um, with school, with work, and everything else. You know how it goes. Um, but this is a Precision Instruments half inch dial up style uh, torque wrench. Um, I really like the dial up style for starters. I had a, um, a cobalt um, that was the it was just a standard dial torque wrench. This one's a lot better for doing, you know, more your everyday stuff. Um, axle nuts, uh, lug nuts, whatever. It goes down to 40 pounds, as you can see there, and then it goes up to 250 foot-pounds. Um, it's got a little conversion table there, so you can see. Um, again. Now, one of the, one of the advantages this, excuse me. Um, advantage to this is you can leave this set on whatever the hell you want to. Um, you know, for those of you that don't know, um, you can, I mean, you can set it to whatever. You know, you can leave it on 200 foot pounds of torque, pull it out, and it's fine. Um, a standard dial torque wrench, um, which I'll show you here. This one's crap out here. Um, just a standard old dial-up, like this, that style right there, um, you have to set it to zero every time to ensure that it's accurate. Now, I've had some guys tell me, man, you don't have to do that. That's ridiculous. I've had the snap-on torque wrench for, you know, forever, and I've never had to do that, and it's still accurate. Well, that's fine, but the, you know letter of the law, procedure, whatever you want to call it, you're supposed to dial them down. This one you don't have to, and it'll stay accurate. Now, I got this at least three months ago. I use it literally every day. Um, really, every lug nut that I tighten, I use a torque wrench um, just to be extra careful. Um, but this thing is still deadly accurate. Um, I've tested it two or three times on the truck, and it does great. They make them for snap-on, I believe. Uh, if you look at a snap-on torque wrench um, with the same design, um, it'll look exactly the same. And they make these dial-up ones for snap-on. I'm sure your truck dealer might say, oh, blah, 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 whatever. I'm telling you, put them side-by-side. Side. I may even post one side-by-side side later because um, some of our other mechanics have them. Um, not sure why I put that up. Out of habit. Um, but I'm telling you, they're the same damn thing. Now you can, I bought this from Cornwell, um, which was kind of a mistake. I paid full boy in retail for this sucker, about 220 bucks. You can get them at, um, on Amazon for I think 150 And for the value, definitely go for it. I mean, they're, they're really are a great product. They're made right here in the U.S. Um, like I said, I use my every day and it's still within one to one and a half foot pounds um, totally accurate and you can read the descriptions too I mean you can go on Amazon they they absolutely rave about this it's one of the best ranked torque wrenches out there on the market so you know unless you're building engines and you really need a digital torque wrench um, you're just looking for something for every day um, this here's the way to go uh, this concludes this tool review. Um, I'm going to try to start posting some more videos a little more frequently. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, have a great weekend.